Donc, oui, tiens. Please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Bah, on... The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. And today the chamber will continue to hear the testimony and the statement of a suffering and impact by four civil parties. And uh, to start with, we will hear the, remain, the remaining ceremony of uh, Im Jane and Mrs. Sackle Boutique, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals uh, through today's proceedings? Sackle Boutique, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present, except uh, Mr. Sun Arun. Council for Anunjir, who is uh, absent who today and will be absent tomorrow as he has uh, a personal uh, engagement. As for Nunji, he is present in a holding down cell downstairs as he requests to waive his rights to be present in the main courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the Grafji, and there are four uh, civil parties who will. Uh, Testified that today, and Madame Yim Jain will uh, conclude her remaining uh, testimony, and we and then we will have two T T TCCP two eight eight nine eight one, and then nine eight three. Thank you, President. Thank you. Uh, and the chamber will now decide Merci on the request la of Nunjir. The chamber has received la a waiver from Nunjir dated 2nd April 2015. He confirms that due to his poor health, that is uh, back pain and that headache, and that he cannot sit for long. And in order to eff effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to waive his right to, be, to participate in and be present at the second. April 2015, he has been informed by his counsel that in no way it can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, Dated 2nd April 2015, who notes that Nunji has a chronic back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunji his request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs via an audio visual means for today's proceedings as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AB unit personnel is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. And the chamber would like to hand the floor La chambre souhaite donner to la à the co-prosecutors uh, to put question to, through this uh, civil party, Madame Ian Jane, Madame you have the floor. National co-prosecutor, good morning, Mr. President, and good morning, everyone in and around the, the, the courtroom. In fact, uh, just today, the uh, co-prosecutors wanted to put some questions to the uh, civil party. However, after uh, we uh, consulted, then uh, we decided uh, not to put the questions to the civil party, and we would like to uh, have the time to put the questions to another civil parties, that is to TCCP 288. 
As we deem this witness uh, statement is more important for the prosecution. President and the defense teams, do you have any questions to be put to this civil party? And we can start from Nunji's defense first. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honors. Uh, yes, I have a few questions for the civil party. Um, good morning, Madam Civil Party. Um, I have a few follow-up questions um, regarding your testimony yesterday. Um, yesterday, I heard you say um, that you were um, arrested and arrested again. Um, you, you, you used these words. Would you be able to tell us what you meant when you said these words, that you were arrested again and again? You said, uh, you said that I was uh, arrested and re-arrested. The first time I ran away from my unit and I was arrested and uh, mistreated. And for the second time, when I was picking up the uh, cow dung and I was hungry, so I stole the cassava and I was uh, arrested for the second time. So you, you, when you when you say the words arrested, what exactly do you mean with that? Qu'est-ce que vous entendez exactement par arrêté? I meant I was arrested For the first arrest, I was with the children unit, and due to the hard work condition, I ran away from uh, the unit. And then the unit chief uh, arrested me, and I mean that I was then sent back to the children unit, and I was tortured there and forced to work hard in the children unit. Um, I will I will ask you some questions about. Um, the events that you describe as torture. But my, my, asking, my, my reason for asking the, the earlier question is if you would be able to describe what you meant with the word arrested. Were you brought to um, uh, a sort of police station for investigation? Were you asked questions? Uh, if yes, where were you brought to? Could you be a little more specific? La situation. Réponse. Uh, when I said I was arrested, uh, was that at that time I was rather young, and I Il faut savoir qu'à l'époque j'étais très jeune. Ran away from the unit and I was taken back into that children unit at the work site and I was not taken to any police station. Um, I understand that after you ran away, they took you back to your unit, but I'm not still quite sure why you call it, uh, why you use the word arrested. I used the word arrested because Je I was arrested. There was a unit chief, a group, a group chief who arrested me and who then dragged me back into the children unit. I was physically dragged into the uh, children uh, unit side. Um, very, very well, uh, Madam Civil Party. Um, I would like now to ask you a few follow-up questions on um, on the events that you said happened after they dragged you back the second time, I believe, uh, when uh, you were buried um, in uh, when your body was buried in the ground and your head was still up. Who was it um, that did that to you? Do you remember? I was arrested and buried uh, neck deep 
It was the UNICEF chief uh, named Rome who uh, did the act of burial of burying uh, me up to the neck. And how old is Rome? At the, how old was Rome at the time? Do you remember? I did not know how old Rome was. I did not dare ask how old the UNICEF chief was. I was a, a young child, and of course the person was my superior. I did not dare even look at the first, and I just kept on working. Um, do you know whether Rome um, had any authority to do that? Uh, to you? Did he talk to somebody before he did that to you? Um, can you give us some more details? When the chief buried me, I did not know whether the person sought authority from anybody else. I only knew that the person was my unit chief and he did that. And do you remember whether he did that immediately, immediately to you uh, after you were um, captured after your escape, or was there some period of time in between? After I ran away from the unit, I was arrested, and then I was taken back into the uh, unit. Uh, I was uh, immediately, uh, straight away, buried, and I uh, was there for about two to three hours before uh, I was uh, pulled out. Uh, so would it be fair to say that this was an immediate action of your unit chief wrong um, against you after you, you're running away? Yes, uh, that is correct. The unit chief uh, did that immediately uh, after I was arrested. And what kind of person was this Rom? Can you describe him a little bit for us? I could not describe the, the character of a Rome. I simply knew Rome was my unit chief. Um, do you know whether Rome was um, a member of uh, the CPK, the Communist Party of Cambodia? Savez-vous si Rome faisait partie du parti? No, I did not know uh, whether Rome uh, was a member or not. As I said, I only knew that Rome was my unit chief. Do you know whether Rome was punished afterwards uh, for having buried you? Whether uh, Rome was punished or not, I was not aware of that. Réponse. J'ignore totalement s'il a été ou non puni par la suite. Um, do you remember around what Maître time Coupe. this incident happened to you? Savez-vous à quel moment cet incident est survenu? À quelle époque? It happened at around four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Would you be able to remember uh, a month or a year when it happened?
pendant lequel cet incident est survenu. At that time, I was uh, young and I could not recall uh, the date or the year uh, well. Would you be able to remember the exact place? The exact, um, yeah, the exact place where this happened? Where was it? In, in, in which village or which cooperative? Do you remember? When I was uh, buried, Réponse. Lorsque été I enterré, was at Ang Kiao village. Au village de Ang Kiao. However, Mais I cannot recall the uh, commune or the uh, district. Je ne me souviens pas du nom de la commune ni du district. But do you remember the exact spot in this village Mais where this happened? Et vous souvenez-vous du lieu exact où cela a eu lieu dans le village? It happened Réponse. right at where the children unit were. Was. À l'endroit précis où l'unité des enfants and, se trouvait. And where was that? Maître Coppe, et où était-ce exactement? It was located in Ang Chiao village. Réponse: dans le village de Ang Chiao. Um, I, I understood that uh, from your previous answer, Madam Civil Party, but where exactly was it that, it, that this thing happened? As I said, it happened in Ang Chiao village, and when I was tied for the other arrest, it was at the Takui Dam, or it's called Prai Koi Koi Forest, and that location was where the children unit also worked. Um. Let, let me try one last time, Madam Civil Party. I understand it happened in a village. But can you tell us where in the village exactly this happened? Was it close to a pagoda? Um, close to something? N'importe quel autre endroit précis? There was no pagoda near there. We were in a children's unit near Takoi, and that's where the event took place. Um, very well, uh, Madam Civil Party. Um, I have a la some last questions. You said yesterday um, that you were not allowed um, to attend school. Hier, vous nous avez dit um, que vous n'aviez pas eu le droit d'aller à l'école. Pourriez-vous nous dire qui vous a dit que vous n'aviez pas le droit d'aller à l'école Réponse. Lorsque j'ai dit que je ne suis pas allé à l'école, could not uh, go to school, en fait, and yesterday I said that I did not uh, have the opportunity to go to school. But who was it, if you remember, that told you Mais that you um, would not be allowed to go to school? Nobody told me that. Réponse, personne ne me l'a dit. When I uh, thought about what happened, I knew that I didn't have a chance uh, to go to school. Moi, je savais que je ne pouvais pas aller à l'école quand j'ai vu ce qui se passait. Um, uh, Madame Civil Party, we, we, we heard witnesses and, and we have civile, evidence nous avons in the case file that um, children were 
able to go to school, attend classes, learn mathematics, language, etc. So um, I'm trying to understand why you didn't go to school in between, between 1975 and 79. President, uh, Madame Witness, uh, please, Madame Civil Parties, please wait, Madame and the co-prosecutor, you have the floor. Vous vous plaît, le co international a la parole. Merci, bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Madame Hello, Mr. Le President. Uh, good morning to the honours. It appears that when the defence lawyer is saying that the children were allowed to go to school, uh, that it is a bit exaggerated in relation to what we have heard during these hearings previously. We never really spoke about school. We said that at times lessons were given in villages, so there were no real schools. So maybe the question should be reformulated in a more cautious way. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, if I may reply, I, I believe we have the testimony of... Um, um, Tassan, we Nous have on the case Tassan. file education Nous avons um, dans le dossier folders or, uh, or books. So I believe it would be correct to say that there was indeed uh, an effort, a substantial effort being made to educate children. Not always in school buildings, that is correct, but that is probably because of, uh, of the war, the civil war before. But I think I can. Um, fairly state that there was uh, education, primary and secondary education going on. So I think I should be able to ask this question to the civil party. Le President, you may proceed, Judge uh, Claudia Fentz. At this stage of the proceedings, any conclusions as to whether there was a school system and to what extent is certainly premature. But questions as to whether she went to school or not are allowed. So I suggest we suggest you go ahead with the questions without summing up your understanding of the previous evidence. Um, the, the summing up was only in reaction, uh, Judge Fence, to the, the objection. Um, Madam Civil Party, uh, you said yesterday that you weren't allowed to go to school, and then I asked you the question, who told you um, that you couldn't go to school? I'm not sure if you answered that question. You were able to think a bit about it some more. Who told you, do you remember? Uh, that you weren't allowed to go to school? Answer. Yesterday, I said that I could not go to school. No one told me that I could not go to school. At that time, there were no school. I uh, did not know that uh, there were any school. What I did was uh, working. Do you know of any children who Question. did go to school at the time? Des enfants qui sont allés à l'école à cette époque? Uh, 
answer. I did not see any children go to school. The children in the same unit as mine, uh, they uh, were working. They were going to collect uh, the cow dung. Um, uh, another subject, and I think that's my last subject, um, the civil party. Um, I think you said yesterday that you worked at night time. Vous avez dit what do you mean with vous la nuit? Uh, when you said you, you worked at night time? Voulu, vous, vous voulu dire par là? Answer. Réponse. Yesterday, I uh, I did not say that I was working at night. Non, je pas dit que je uh, I was working uh, during the daytime, and uh, at night time, uh, we uh, changed the units. I, I apologize, Madam Civil Party, and I, I understood your answer wrong. Thank you very much. President, thank you very much. I now give the floor to the defense team for Mr. Kyosampon. Council, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Merci Madame beaucoup, Monsieur Civil le Party, I have uh, several Madame questions civile, for clarification. My first uh, question is Première that uh, what is your father's name? Answer. Réponse. My father's name is Mom Pro. Mon père s'appelle Mom Pro. Pro. Counsel, thank you. L'avocat, merci. In the victim information form, Dans you votre de wrote that uh, your father's name is Chao Pro. Que votre père so the name Chao Pro is Chai not right. Is that correct? Ce n'est donc pas le bon nom qui est indiqué là. Est-ce exact? Answer. My Réponse. father's name. Mon I père put my father's name as Chao Pro. Because Chai Pro. at that time, so my father uh, lived in the, the lower part of the country, and, and my mother lived in the upper part of the country. And at the current time, my father's name uh, was. Uh, Refer to us, uh, Mom Pro. S'appelle Mom Pro. Counsel, what is your mother's name? Comment s'appelle votre mère? Answer. My réponse. Mother's old name was uh, Nia Yuan, but now Yuan, her name is Op Yuan. Aujourd'hui, elle s'appelle Op Yuan. Counsel. Question. Thank you. Merci. In your victim information form, you Dans stated that uh, you are Khmer Cambodia Crown. Did you have this nationality before? Aviez-vous la même nationalité auparavant? Answer. I asked Réponse. my parents. J'ai demandé à mes parents. In the past, uh, that uh, where. Were where I was born, and I was Je told that I was born né, in Cambodia Crown Council. Dit Did, do you know Question. your birthplace in Cambodia Crown? Où vous êtes né précisément au Cambodia Crown? Answer. Réponse. I know my birthplace. Je sais où je suis né. Council. Question. Could you please uh, answer to my question? What is your ma birthplace? Où êtes-vous né? Yeah. Answer. I was born in Roleang village, uh, Chow village Lang de Roleang commune, Swai Tong district, and Yang province. District de Xiaolang. Council, thank you. Oh, what about your Question. ID card? Merci. There is Qu'en est-il de votre carte d'identité? Twenty-two slash. D22. Twenty-two Bar sixty-one. The, the year on is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0
would like to clarify uh, the document number again, that is D22-21-61. In this uh, document, there is uh, an ID card of um, Madame Yem Yen. In the ID card itself, it states that the birthplace of uh, Madame Sibel Party is uh, some in some Commune, Kirigong district, Takao province. What could you say about the uh, inconsistency in relation to your birthplace? Il semble qu'il est là un décalage. Answer. I Réponse. stated earlier Comme je dit that uh, before I uh, I said I was born in uh, Khmer Krom and. Uh, nowadays I am living in the, the upper part of the country that is why I am using uh, the uh, current address council do you understand the meaning of the birthplace actually uh, you could not have uh, two different uh, birthplaces so how could you say about this answer my original birthplace was in Kram, but, and I am now living in the, the current uh, address. That is why I am using it as my uh, birthplace. Voilà council. Did you decide to use this, the current address as your birthplace by yourself, or what prompted you to do so? Answer. From my thinking, I am now living in the upper part of the country, and since we are living here already, we need to use uh, the address in the upper part of the country, Council. I uh, would like to ask another question in relation to uh, the time after 1975. So where did you live uh, after the 17 April 1975? Answer. After 1975, I lived Après 1975, in village. In 1975, I uh, lived in Tom village. Dans le village de Council. Did you ever Question. live in the Vietnam in 1975? Answer. In 1975, I, I was not living in the Vietnam. I uh, was living in uh, Tropeang Tom Kang Chung village. So how long uh, were you living in uh, that uh, above-mentioned village? Answer. I was living in Trapang Tom village. I uh, moved uh, from places to places uh, uh, until the liberation in 1979. Council. I would like to read your statement from document E3 49 Your un in my English is 0092 53 I quote Je cite In meet 1976, when Khmer Rouge had the etching program to 
a change uh, come with the uh, Vietnamese and my family of uh, six member and uh, hundreds other Khmer families in Cambodia Crown were uh, transferred were arrested and sent to Phnom Penh. Unquote. Do you recall that uh, you gave uh, this statement? Vous souvenez-vous avoir fait cette déclaration? Answer. Réponse. I actually gave a statement, uh, but I do not recall well about the exchange program. Je pense avoir fait cette déclaration, mais Counselor, je ne me souviens pas bien du programme d'échange. Did you Question. ever live in uh, Vietnam ici, in the period si of 1975 and 1976, or did you not ever live in the Vietnam? You stated earlier that uh, you have vous never avez dit lived in the Vietnam. Does this mean that the statement you gave earlier uh, is not correct? Is that true? Que vous avez fait précédemment n'était pas correct, pas exact. Civil party, I do not get your Réponse. question. Je n'ai pas bien compris votre question. Council, the problem question. here is Le there are two different ici, statements about the period of 1975 and 1976. You said earlier, you stated 1976. here earlier that you were living in Trop Village, and there was another statement saying that uh, you uh, were in. Uh, Vietnam in that period. Vietnam, I would like période. to know which statement is correct. You state, you testified uh, earlier before the chamber that uh, in 1975 chambre, you were living in uh, Cam Cambodia, Cambodge, not in Vietnam. Et non pas au Vietnam. Could you clarify this for the court? Uh, which statement is correct? Nous dire à présent quelle, laquelle de ces deux déclarations est la bonne. Answer. I would like to um, tell the court that in 1975, I was not living in Vietnam. It was my mistake. I was actually living in the Topeng Thong Kang Chung village at that time. Council, thank you very much. Question. Merci beaucoup. In relation to another point, uh, you, I heard you mentioned uh, Takui Dam. Je vous entendu parler du barrage de Takui. However, in uh, the information in the in your statement, document the dans votre document 22 at Eon, 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 they transfer me to live in Tasoi Dam until the liberation day. La libération. I uh, would like to seek your clarification whether it is Takui Dam or Tasoi Dam. Barrage de Tasoi ou bien du barrage de Takui. Answer. At that time, Réponse. I was at Tasoi Dam. It was also called Takui. Au barrage de Tasoi, qui pouvait également s'appeler Takui. I uh, did not know the exact name of that Je ne place, pas le nom but uh, exact de cet I endroit. heard people call it uh, Tasoi Dam. That is why I call it Tasoi Dam. Voilà pourquoi j'ai parlé de ce barrage en l'appelant ainsi. 
Counsel, could you tell yes, the court sure. whether the two names uh, were used at that time or only one name was used at that time? Les deux noms ont été employés à l'époque pour ce même barrage ou pas? Answer. <coughs> People mostly Réponse. refer it as the Tassoui Dam. On parlait du barrage de Tassoui. Counsel. Question. Thank you. Je vous remercie. In relation to the workers in your units, you stated uh, in yesterday that uh, you were in a mobile Hier, unit. Vous nous avez dit que Could vous you clarify for the court whether you were in a mobile unit or si were you in a, a youth, a children's unit? Une unité because the in the document I uh, quoted earlier, Dans you said that uh, you were citer, in a children's unit. So could you clarify for the court whether you were in a mobile unit or you si were in a children's unit? Itinérante ou bien à une unité d'enfants? Answer. Réponse. I would like to clarify for the court that concerning chambre, uh, the mobile units and children's units, uh, they were different uh, units. units As for my children's units, uh, we uh, were forced to work as those unité who unité were in the mobile units. De travailler comme l'étaient les membres des unités itinérantes. Counselor, you mentioned a person by the name Question. Ron, and you said that he was the Ron. unit chief. Vous avez dit que c'était le chef de l'unité. Was you a, were you ever transferred from the one uh, unit to Avez another unit? Avez-vous été transféré d'une unité à l'autre à un moment donné? Answer. I was transferred into a different unit, but I was uh, supervised by the unités. same uh, unit chief, uh, and the uh, unit uh, were in the same village or in villages close by. Village ou bien dans des villages avoisinants. Council, thank you. Question. Je vous remercie. Did you know a person by the name Chao Ni? Avez-vous connu quelqu'un qui s'appelait Chao Ni? I know a person Réponse. named Chao Ni. Je connais quelqu'un qui s'appelle Chao Ni. When uh, do you when did you get to know this uh, individual? Question. Comment avez-vous entendu le nom de cette personne? Answer. I uh, do not recall when I got to know this individual. I uh, do not know. I was. I am uh, illiterate. Je suis un alphabet. Counsel, do Question. you recall so that uh, you had any contact or relation with Zhao Ni at the time that you filed the victim information vous avez eu, form? Vous avez eu Avec Jaoni, notamment au moment Answer. où vous avez rempli le formulaire de renseignement I des victimes. Uh, this Réponse. J'ai contacté cette personne. Counsel, could you explain Question. for the court? Pourriez-vous expliquer à la chambre? What did Jaoni assist you in filing and filling up, vous a filling in this victim à information ce form? Formulaire de renseignement des victimes. Uh, President, please wait, uh, Madame Civil Party. You may not proceed. The lead co-lawyer. La co-vocate principale pour les parties civiles a la parole. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Je crois qu'on dépasse President. largement le cadre really de la souffrance et des faits. Uh, on est en plus au-delà uh, du temps de parole qui normalement est loué. Donc, time. Enfin, je comprends bien qu'il y a un peu une obsession de Chaoni du côté de la, la défense. Je, 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 manifestement, enfin, je n'ai pas de problème pour que les questions soient posées, mais de manière aussi répétitive, ça, ça, ça pose un problème. Mais de répétitive, je pense que ça devient un problème. Counsel, Mr. President, I mentioned Monsieur the person by the name Chaoni many times uh, because uh, this uh, individual has uh, 
any relation to, with uh, those who uh, have been living in Kampuchea Kram, and I am doubtful why there is the uh, Chinese name in almost every uh, victim information form. This is a big, uh, serious question for us, uh, and it is doubtful whether the court uh, is believing in the information which uh, was assisted by Chowney to fill in. And uh, as we can see, there is uh, the name Chowney in almost every uh, document of victim information form. That's why I uh, raised this matter before your honor. You may not proceed, uh, Mr. Copé said, President. Um, thank you very much for uh, giving me the opportunity to uh, intervene in this discussion. I might be mistaken, and I stand corrected if I'm wrong, but it seems the third time that we're having a civil party here claiming to be Macron, but in fact Macron is born um, in Kampuchea, uh, in Cambodia. Um, now, it's, I, I, I realize it's too early to make any, uh, any uh, even preliminary conclusions, but it seems odd that uh, the people, the civil parties who are claiming in their applications to be Khmer Krom are in fact uh, not Khmer Krom at all. So, uh, I think maybe it is appropriate uh, if the chamber requests the civil party lawyers La as Chambre to pourrait peut-être demander aux avocats principaux des partis civils ce qu'il est en train de se passer. Monsieur le Président, si vous me permettez de compléter les observations de mes confrères, c'est simplement pour répondre à l'objection de ma consoeur, c'est vrai, je l'ai fait moi-même dans un, un interrogatoire précédent d'un témoin sur, lequel, um, sur le formulaire um, duquel il y avait également le nom de Chaoni, et lorsqu'on confronte des um, déclarations à l'audience, enfin la déposition à l'audience et les déclarations dans le formulaire, il y a des différences qui portent précisément sur la qualité ou pas de et je pense uh, que cette ligne de questionnement ne fait absolument pas perdre du temps, not, mais fait partie uh, des éléments qui seront nécessaires à l'examen uh, de la valeur probante et de la crédibilité de l'ensemble des déclarations des partis civils. Donc, uh, 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 on passe peut-être un peu de temps dessus, mais c'est parce que uh, ce nom figure sur les documents qui nous ont été fournis uh, au sujet des partis civils en question. En complément, Monsieur le Président, uh, this, President, il est un fait que le nom de Chauny apparaît dans beaucoup de euh, formulaires d'information des victimes. Euh, C'est un fait et euh, ce n'est absolument pas course, caché puisque son nom est, est précisé en qualité de témoin quand ces formulaires d'information des victimes ont été déposés au bureau des co-juges d'instruction, c'est sur la base de ces formulaires et des documents d'identité qui ont été euh, donnés par les victimes à l'époque que le bureau des co-juges d'instruction a rendu ces ordonnances d'admissibilité des constitutions de Ces ordonnances ont été rendues à la fin de l'année 2010. La défense à l'époque avait la possibilité de faire appel de chaque une des décisions de recevabilité des constitutions de parti civil. Voilà, maintenant, si la Chambre considère qu'il est pertinent de poser des questions sur euh, Chaoni et sur les informations qui sont contenues dans les documents que nous présentons à la Chambre à l'appui des dépositions des partis civils, je n'ai pas d'objection là-dessus, Monsieur le Président. Avec l'autorisation de Monsieur le Président, je suis une brève précision. La question n'est pas de savoir si uh, nous contestons la disponibilité. Nous avons des documents que nous avions à l'époque, nous n'avions pas entendu les parties civiles. Quand elles se présentent à l'audience, elles donnent des éléments qui sont différents de ce qui figure sur uh, 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 le, la déclaration uh, que nous avons eue à l'époque de l'instruction. Et quand je dis nous avons eu, je parle de façon générale parce que nous n'étions pas physiquement nous présents à la période de l'instruction. Mais en tout état de cause, ce n'est qu'à l'audience que nous avons ces disparités et ce n'est qu'à l'audience qu'on peut se poser des questions. Et tout. Donc, on ne vient pas nous reprocher de ne pas avoir fait des choses que nous n'étions pas en mesure de faire à l'époque de l'instruction.
Oui, merci, M. le Président. Yes, Peut-être pour uh, clarifier les choses, maybe to clarify things Maître a bit. Giraud, pourriez-vous indiquer à la Chambre quel est le rôle exact chamber, que joue M. Chauny dans l'aide que peut apporter aux dans la préparation de leur constitution de parti civil. Je ne peux pas vous le dire maintenant. Et right moi-même aussi nouvelle dans cette salle de bain, je n'ai pas tous les éléments, donc je ne connais pas personnellement pas M. Chauny. Je ne connais 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 pas M. Chauny. Je As well uh, as the les constitutions de parti civil, intermediate organizations in civil the civil party applications, because most civil party applications were possible thanks to intermediary organizations, that is to say NGOs, that assisted the victims when they applied uh, to become civil parties. So there is nothing surprising to see a name come up, up in a systematic way, as well as the names of NGOs, because at the time, uh, the court did not have enough funds uh, uh, to guarantee outreach. So the NGOs took charge of this, that is to say, to go meet the civil parties so that the civil parties can join. Si la que je if the chamber wishes me to be more specific about the different intermediary organizations and the different people within these organizations that played a role in the gathering of the information for the civil party applications, of course, I Except to do so, and I might even do so this afternoon if I have the elements in hand. Otherwise, I can do so tomorrow. Voilà. Sauf erreur de ma part, Unless Mr. I'm mistaken, Mr. Chauny already came to testify. Uh, il a en and tant que he testified civil, as a civil party. Sauf erreur de ma part and aussi, unless I'm mistaken, vous éventuellement le confirmer. Il est un membre actif d'une association qui défend les intérêts des personnes de provenant ou vivant au campus de Chacron. Of a Khmer Crown. And I just want this information to be confirmed. Étant précisé que je crois que tous ces éléments sont du gros dossier et sont parfaitement accessibles. Also, I'd like to specify that all of these elements are on the case file and are perfectly accessible to the parties. Mais que ça soit bien clair. But it should be clear. On n'a jamais contesté la qualité de parti civil de Monsieur Chauny. Il faut que ce soit bien clair pour les procès verbaux. Position as the civil party that has to be clear in the record. President, uh, Defense Council, uh, you may continue. Maître, vous pouvez poursuivre. Council, uh, Madame Civil Party, uh, Madame before Madame we Madame were intervened, my last question to you was Avant about the assistance provided to you in filling out your victim information form by Chao Ni. Votre fiche de renseignement. My Vous question to you is that did Chao Ni provide you with assistance or provide you any consultation in the preparation of the victim information form for you to apply as a civil party in this case? Afin que vous puissiez vous porter candidate pour vous constituer parti civil. Answer. Réponse. Chao Ni and I uh, made and he did not uh, give me anything except he, he gave me some uh, guidance on Il how to apply it as a, a civil party and as I wanted to uh, lodge my uh, complaint civil. then I proceeded uh, with my application as I suffered Et from what happened. Council, thank you. Actually, who, who actually uh, went to, uh, to look out for you or went to, to see you? Was uh, Chao Ni by himself in uh, seeking you out, or was somebody else? Answer: There was no one else. I uh, simply met him. 
concert. Je rencontré, My tout. question to you is that how did you initiate your question. contact with the Chowney in, in the prepare in the preparation for your application? Le contact, ou comment le contact avec Chowney s'est-il établi pour qu'il vous aide à Answer. remplir cette demande de constitution de participation? Mr. Chowney uh, gave me some guidance on how Réponse. to apply to as a civil party due to the suffering I received. So after he told me that, I told him that I wanted to uh, apply it, uh, as a civil party. Question in relation to the information that you provided in the uh, victim information form. Au vu des Did you provide that information to by yourself, si or was it somehow assisted by Chauni? Vous l'avez rempli. Vous avez choisi et donné ces informations toute seule, Answer, ou vous avez bénéficié I de l'aide de Chauni? Really get your question uh, well, but uh, what I recall is that. that uh, he asked me whether Avant I suffered from the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. Pendant le régime des Khmer Rouge. Si but could you, uh, Council, could you please uh, refresh your question? Council, Mais my question to you is the following. Regarding the information contained in your victim information form, did you uh, provide that information? Or did you give document, an, any advice from Chowney before you were able to provide information Chowney in that victim information form? Answer. Réponse. The information contained within that form was produced by myself after I tried to recall the, what happened. Question, can you explain to the chamber why there are discrepancies from what contained in the form and from what you are testifying before this chamber? Answer. As I said, I uh, cannot recall well, Réponse. I cannot recall all Comme the information dit, that I put bien. onto the form. Je me souvenais des informations que j'ai mis dans le formulaire. Question, were you Question. given any advice by anybody else besides uh, Mr. Chauny? À part Monsieur Chauny vous a conseillé? Answer, Réponse. no, there was uh, nobody else. Non, I only met uh, Chauny. Je rencontré que Chauny. When he uh, told me about uh, uh, making my application. Et je Counsel, thank you. And uh, Mr. President, I don't have any further questions. La constitution de parti civil. Je vous remercie. Répond la défense. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions. President. Madam Im Jane, the Chamber is grateful Madame for your uh, presence and for a statement of suffering and harms inflicted upon you during the Democratic Campi regime. And uh, your testimony is now concluded, and you may be excused from the uh, courtroom and go to wherever you uh, wish to go. And, court officer, in collaboration with WISU, please make necessary transportation for Madame Im Yem to return to. Uh, wherever she wishes to go or to go to her residence. And the chamber is also grateful of uh, TPO staff. It is now convenient to take a short break, and we'll uh, re resume at 10.30, when we will hear the uh, statement of a suffering and hands of another true, uh, another civil party that is true TCCP 288. And the uh, lead co lawyers for uh, civil parties do I started to provide uh, precise information to the chamber regarding uh, Mr. Chowney and the uh, civil parties. The court is now in recess.